Hi, my name's Jason Williams, and um, you're watching a video from NJPW1. And in this video, I'm going to um, uh, adjust the handbrake on this Land Cruiser. The, the reason for this video is um, for many years, I've heard people say oh, handbrakes don't work in Toyotas, and um, you know, it's been a common thing for many years. So in this video, I'm, I'm going to show you how I adjust a handbrake. You know, the uh, certain things you should look for. What, what, may, I'll, tr I'll explain what causes it not to work and w what to look out for, what you can do to prevent your handbrake from not working. So, um, you know, with that said, I guess, you know, I'll just get straight into it and begin showing you how does a handbrake work on a Land Cruiser? This is for 80 series, uh, 105 series, 100 series, because um, they will have the same handbrake inside the drum, in, beneath the discs, because the 100 series has disc rear end, but it has still has a drum set on the inside, and um, all 70 series and um, Hiluxes, you know, a whole bunch of them, and um, the whole, you know, lots of people have told me either. Oh, you know, it's a Toyota, handbrake doesn't work in Toyota. That doesn't have to be the case and I'll show you my way of getting around it and how it works and I hope it helps you. All right, let's do it. And here at the rear, this is the rear, um, one of the rear tires, this is the rear left. But um, you wanna look under here that there's no oil. If there's oil dripping or something like that, you have an inner axle seal problem. And um, I'll have to make a new video to cover that. I'll make a different video at, at a later stage, and hopefully, you know, I'll come across someone who, you know, that I meet that I know that needs it done, and I'll do a video doing that, or I'll do it on my own if mine fails. And up here, there's a little rubber plug. Not all of them, your Land Cruisers will have these, they'll be lost quite often, and um, you can get them anywhere from any brake place or Toyota. And um, even ones from a Hilux fit a Land Cruiser. So I'll be removing this little rubber lug, rubber plug, and um, and uh, removing the wheel, and then I'll this will actually begin. All right. So once you've ripped the wheel off, this is beginning to adjust the handbrake. You'll rip the wheel off. You'll um, pull out your little rubber bung that's in behind there if i can get to it i'll get to it in a minute but you'll find the first thing to undo to remove the drum is this um little phillips screw here so you may need one of these um an impact rent, uh, impact driver i suppose well it's not not electric and so what you do is you put it on there and you hit the back of it with a big hammer and it will break it loose but since I regularly inspect and um, adjust mine. I should be able to do it by hand. There we go. And that little guy comes out. And also, uh, with a couple of M8 bolts, um, you yours might not come straight off you may have to wind some in one on this side and one on the bottom you know either or other and you do them up and don't do don't do them really tight you just ease them in there and as it's beginning to pry off if it's feeling like it's quite stuck tap around the outside with a, um, a hammer a soft hammer tap around the outside just to help it come out as you undo it and as it removes off That'll make that a whole lot easier. But mine should come straight off. Let's find out. Oh, have I made a liar of myself? Yep, it looks like I'm going to have to get a spanner and actually do these 
the pop away. So as you see, um, I, I did use some uh, much longer M8 bolts that helped me out a bit. Got it a little bit further out, the drum come off quite easy and it inspect all your parts here make sure these aren't wet you know this you know there's brake dust which is what you should see um, but no oil no oiling or grease that's what you want to see and when, once you've got it all off give it a bit of a um, spray with brake cleaner so you can't wash rid of that crud off and um, what I'm going to show you here is actually it's the um, this is your adjuster the self adjuster so when you are um, rebuilding like if you're replacing the brakes if you're disassembling this you must get this off the self adjuster clean it up and um, put a uh, heap of anti-seize or grease but I like to use um, anti-seize on this thread that goes inside here and make sure there's also a little bit of anti-seize on the pivoting points moving parts inside so that um, this works fairly freely because as what it's supposed to do is this um, little lever here is meant to rise up when it's loose to the next click and then adjust down that meant to adjust that just little bits so we're going to have a play around and see if we can't get our um, brakes to operate um, exactly as we want them to so there doesn't seem to be um, much of a lip on here it's only very slight so I should um, I should be safe to whack this back on. You now everything looks nice and clean in here. I um, used a wire brush and cleaned out the inside of the drum. And um, just got to line up the locating down or the um, the attachment screw. Just got to line them up. And when you're putting it on. You may find yourself backing this um, third off. Just back that off a little bit. That's a little bit better. should go on like so Whew. then you get your little mounting screw back in there make sure this is pretty tight Should be good. Should be. Famous last words. Right. Now as you rotate it, the other wheel may spin. That, that's fine. Um, what you want is um, to be able to hear the handbrake. You can hear it a little bit, but it's not not nearly enough so what I might do is pump the brakes just to set it in place and then I'll try again yeah so that's very minimal audio that I can hear almost none so what I want to do is um, adjust it which 
was which way So adjusting up so with a little screwdriver I just heard the little click that's the self adjuster aligning and you rotate it and you what you want to do is adjust it so that it just becomes audible you can only just hear the Break. See like that? Not quite. That's not enough yet. So we'll go a little more. So next click. Still need to go more. That was the next click. We'll go a little bit more. That's getting pretty close. So it's, you can hear that quite well through the microphone, no doubt. The microphone's in my pocket. And um, see, that's it's not quite enough yet, still. Next click. Make sure you rot it, rotate it both ways. See how it like makes a slight rubbing noise, but then goes away. A little bit more. And a bit more. That's sounding pretty good. I'd be tempted to go a little bit more. It's the next locator. Yeah, more. Oh, that sounds good. like it's slowing the wheel down just the tiniest bit that's why I've left the wheel on the other side to help with the um the and it's in neutral or no it's in gear sorry in gear they're both suspended the wheels still on the other side and that'll help with the um the weight you know it'll be a whip heavy for me to turn it first but the weight will help it maneuver a bit so that's probably spot on just like that hmm I reckon that's about spot on I'll now reinsert that little rubber bung wherever that went there we go insert this little rubber bung these are quite important not to let mud and so forth get inside because that'll chew out your handbrake pretty quick or your rear brakes all right Now that that one's done, 
we can then put the wheel on and and I'll do the other side I won't record that I'll just record the final adjustment and then and then I'll show you how it works all right so I've finished assembling and adjusting the handbrake in the in the actual brake shoes and that leaves me with the final part of adjustment and that's this handbrake cable this is adjusted separately not to get um, confused with the actual adjustment of the handbrake this is a separate piece so what happens is you can see this cable is quite loose and um, what we're going to do is on the actual handbrake lever inside the car there's a, um, a lock nut a lock nut set on the top of the handbrake cable that comes through the lever which you actually pull on and so what we're going to do is adjust that just a little bit to get the slack most of the slack not all of it get quite a bit of the slack out of this when, when we're on one notch like so on the first click of the handbrake we come up the first click and then we adjust it and I'll show you that now all right so we'll um grab this handbrake come up to the first click no further and then we um, back this off this little lock nut if you can see in there hopefully probably not because my hands take up most of the room so that's taken my most of the slack out I'll wind that back down and um, tighten this up. Right, so I put it back on the one knot, the first notch, and go down the back and see how it looks. All right, see that? A little bit of not not tight but not saggy and loopy perfect guess it's only to test it out now all right so as you can see here i'm parked on quite a bit of an angle i mean i guess you know i'm hoping you see sort of you know down this hill and then um not that the camera's going to show up much and then i'm up the hill for that side facing downhill and you can tell by the angle of the tree somewhat sorry about the shaky camera work but um, you know the engines idling I'm um, parked up you can see from here that I'm um, in neutral and uh, and the handbrake is on yes cool it's it's so far you know it works um, and just in case someone might ask like, you know, I'm not saying you would or you might. Oops, if I get down nice and low, you see there's nothing in front of the wheels at the front. And there is nothing in front of the wheels at the back. It's solely being held up by the handbrake at the moment. Not that you should ever trust the handbrake. You know, you still got to use it, the park brake as what, or the handbrake as what it is, which is just that, a handbrake. Alright, so as you can see, the um, the handbrake works quite well, and um, you know I'm I'm pretty pretty wrapped with it. It just you know it's how it is. Um, if you're wondering how often should I adjust the handbrake, well, it's a it's a good habit to do it every time you service the um, car. You know, so maybe you know you, if it's ten thousand k's, you service your car, you're going to inspect the brakes. So inspect the um, handbrake as well and adjust it. If you keep that and you, if you get used to it, if you do that all the time and each time you're doing it, it feels quite um, exhausting, you know, doing it, um, adjusting a handbrake and you're like trying to learn it each time. It doesn't matter because you will actually come to understand it and know it better and, um, you, you know, you'll benefit from it. You know, you'll, you'll be the one, you know, you every time you service your car, I don't know how often you drive your car, but um, every time it comes up and if you service it, 
the handbrake that is um you, you know you you know it you know you will know that oh yeah and you just after a while after doing it a whole bunch of times it'll just be part of standard but standard behavior standard oh, part of a standard procedure a little bit out of breath because i walked sort of down the hill and back up and it's surprisingly steep i, I hope the um angle of the tree shows the how steep the angle was that i parked on you know i'm still parked there with the you know the cars in neutral or you know i can play with the gear stick shift between gears just sitting on the handbrake um so yeah it doesn't you don't have to have a toyota with a handbrake that doesn't work or anything in general um it's just about maintenance um you know the main reason for them not working is um oil leaking out of inner axle seals and that mixes with the grease and wheel bearing and the grease and oil sort of comes out as a mix and coats the brakes you know making them very slippery and it you know it you know practically renders them useless so um definitely keep an eye on what what's happening around you um you know how's it look make it a standard behavior to inspect it um thank you very much for watching and um i'll try you know i hope to see you in the next one <laughs> and um yeah thank you thank you very much sweet have a good day yes cheers for watching see ya mm -hmm.